Alright, we're going to replace the laptop screen in a Vostro 1520. Um, first thing we need to do is we need to take out the battery. So we're going to do that. Um, we need to have our supplies that are here. Uh, we just really need some small screwdrivers, some Phillips, some you know, standard screwdrivers, and then really a piece of wax paper. And the wax paper is going to be used here at the very beginning to pull off these little tabs that are hiding the, the screws. Some of them are a little bit easier than others to get off. And now we're going to use a little screwdriver and unscrew all of these. A little Phillips screwdriver. And we're going to put those over here for safekeeping as well. Until all of them are removed here. So we still got this one that's a little bit. And of course that one fell on the ground. We'll locate that and put it back over here in the pile. The next step, it, it's not too hard, um, but we're just going to pull on the ends here. Um, it might look like you're going to break it, but you're not. You're just going to pull on them. And the whole front casing is going to come right off like that. We're going to place that to the side as well. We have two more screws, one here and one here, that we're going to remove. And these are what hold the laptop in place after the, the bevel there is removed. You'll feel the back of the laptop starting to uh, pull down. That's normal. And it can face a little bit down on that. You'll see down here, here's our inverter. We need to unhook this one. You'll notice the little red dot on the front. We just need to unhook that one. Prior to removing anything else, it can be um, a little tricky to pull it out, but we just pull it out and we need to make sure that, you know, it looks like I pulled uh, it a little and pulled it out of the bracket, but it's fine right there. Alright. You'll also notice on the side here, there's some screws which we need to remove um, and then in the back here and we'll just do this quickly here's the wire that connects everything to it so you'll notice a piece of tape on here we need to remove the tape and then pull down there we go and that's removed and then there's more screws on this side so I'm gonna remove the screws here um, what I normally do is I'll do three on each side. Um, this will allow me to really plan for um, and ensure that nothing swings too far. And then the last screw over here. There we go. There's the old screen. Uh, we'll grab that other screw, make sure we don't lose it. Alright, here's the new screen that we got. Get that out of the packing. And we're going to get ready to place it in here. Um, normally what I like to do again is get one screw in place. Um, and then start to set everything else. So we're going to work on this side. Sometimes it can be a little bit uh, challenging to get the first one in. Um, all right. So you'll see once that one's in, um, 
this one will be a little bit easier because we got something to guide us with. Um, and we'll go ahead and rotate this around again. All right, now that we got the two top ones in here, um, we need to make sure that everything fits back in here um, correctly. So we'll adjust it to that effect. Um, and then the other task again, if you remember, we'll have to hook in the inverter. So normally I will try to do this now because sometimes it can be a challenge um, to put it in later so again you gotta have the red dot there and you push it in um, and then I'll go ahead and finish up doing the rest of getting the screws in place here which are a lot easier obviously now that we have something to guide it with. Alright, you'll see that the screen's perfectly in there now Again, now to really remove the cover over the screen to ensure that obviously we don't want to leave the cover on there. Um, there we go. And again, we've got to hook this up. Again, it looks a little bit difficult here at times, but. Um, this part right here, we gotta again slide in here, make sure that it goes correctly into the hole, into the circuit, um, so you'll feel it push in there. You can attach the tape back there, and also just push this down in general. Um, there's also a piece of tape at the bottom that'll secure it if you'd like. Um, so now we just need to put the cover back on. So again, as, as we started, we have two screws here in the bottom, which we'll just go ahead and put back on. Um, there's going to be a number one and a number two. Uh, one over here, two over here, and that's where you're going to place these screws on the inside. Screen's all in place now. We just got to put the cover back on. And again, it just snaps right in there. And now for the last bit, the screws. Alrighty, now we just put these little covers over everything to make it so that the screen does um, go down correctly. Alright, now let's just add our battery back. Push the power. And there we go. And there you have it. There's how to start and replace the computer screen of a Dell Vostro uh, with a new laptop screen. Thank you.